Hi, my name is Jim Byrne, Principal Systems Engineer for Data Pivot Technologies. Today we're going to be going over a simple file restore as part of our Commvault uh, 101 series. Just, you know, basic things you want to do for Commvault. You know, maybe you just got a ticket and somebody says, hey, I need to restore this file and haven't done it in a while or, or you're a new guy. So this is, this is the video for you. And if you have any questions about uh, our video, uh, you can reach me at, you know, contact at datapivottech.com. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button, and also don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button, because as we come out with more videos, you'll get alerted uh, as soon as they come online. And we're going to have a lot of exciting stuff coming up. All right, so let me go over to my table of contents here just to go over what we're doing. And uh, when I'm talking through this, I'm a you know very visual person, so I, I threw a quick diagram in here. So I'm just going to give you an overview of what the environment looks like that I'm working in, so you can have it in your head while I'm doing this. And what we're going to do is we're going to assume you got a ticket and somebody says, hey, I need a particular file as of this date. Can you go find it and restore it for me? And I'm going to show you how to set your date range so you can match it up with your ticket. And I'm going to show you how to set the restore location. What I mean by that is uh, you can restore from multiple copies in Commvault. I'll show you how to set that. And with that said, let's take a look at the... Uh, the diagram to show you what we have. And this is a, a typical uh, setup in Commvault. It's a you know, cross-site replication uh, with Commvault. We have two sites. We have Andover and Pomfret. And each site is basically the same thing. And I have one site here uh, that has uh, VMware and some physical boxes. And I have a DR site over here. So I have uh, you know, VMware. I back up here. I've got some disk storage attached. And Commvault's real um, flexible. This could be a, a drawer of disk. It could be a server with some disk in it. Uh, it could be a filer. It could be block storage. Uh, it could be cloud storage. You know, you name it. Uh, then we're going to uh, replicate that over here to the other site. And there's a media agent over here with some grid storage, a little tape library. And then there is uh, some VMware, some physical boxes that we can use for DR. So in our example today, I'll go over how to do this. And the reason why I'm also showing you how to do a uh, restore from another copy. When you do a backup, you've got copy one here, and then I do the replication, I got copy two here. And for suppose somebody says, hey, I've got this big, uh, you know, let's, for, I know we're doing files today, but let's say it was a VM and it was like, you know, 500 gig. And they said, hey, can you do me a favor and restore that over here? I'm gonna do some dev testing. Now, a lot of backup products don't allow you to do that. You have to um, do the restore from where you backed up to. So you're gonna go across the WAN and that would be ridiculous. Um, I've already got a copy over here that I've replicated from the night before. I can restore from this on-site copy right here, and it's lightning fast. Be done in no time. So that, that's why I'm just showing you how to do that. If that comes up, developers will ask you for that sometimes. Okay, so let's dive into Commvault here. And let me just go to the dashboard here just to give you a, a little overview of what this kind of looks like. Commvault has a, uh, a new HTML5 interface. I shouldn't say new. It's been out for quite a few years. But uh, just like with uh, VMware, when they had their, their Windows GUI for years, you know, people are used to that GUI and they're slow to adopt. So when we put out new Commvault environments, everybody goes right to this and they love it. Uh, if you're somebody who's using the Java GUI, you know, bite the bullet, come on over. It's, it's good over here. Uh, the HTML5 interface is great. All right, so let's hop in here. Uh, so let's say we got our ticket and said, uh, yeah, I need you to re restore the resolve.conf in a Linux box for me. My uh, developer did something weird. I don't know what he did. He didn't make a backup of it. So um, I think that's where the problem is. So can you restore that file for me? So we're like, sure, we got that backed up. We'll get it for you. So the box is CentOS C2. And your two restore options are, what copy do I want to pull from and what date? So this little graph over here is pretty cool. It shows, you know, this box is backed up every day and you can see all the restore points here. When you click on each restore point, you can see sometimes there's a backup in the morning and a backup at night. So you can pick what you want to do the restore from. And some days, you know, this is a lab, so some days I'm messing around doing a whole ton of backups. So with that said, let's go ahead and do a restore and I'm going to show you how to set the, uh, the time. So I did pick something on the calendar there, and it's going to pick the date um, up here. But what's, there's three ways you can do this. You could do it from the last backup you just did. That's usually what people want. 
And I can do backups between a date because you're going to hunt around and try to find something within a date. So this is actually a particular date I'm showing right now. Or you can go for a date range. Like somebody says, you know, just I know it was good a month ago. Maybe you could give me a couple of weeks time. So like, for example, if I was doing a range, you could say, you know, I was doing some testing um, about a week or two ago. So could you give me, say, from the 9th to the 5th? We're going to search in this range here. So we'll say, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll look in that range and we'll, we'll give you the most recent copy. Now, over here, you can narrow down your, your search because um, sometimes if you're searching for something, you know the general vicinity was where it is. And if you're on a big server, it matters. But here it does. And I'm going to click up here and I'm going to go right from the top, right from my default backup set. And I know the name of the file I'm looking for. So I'm going to type in resolve.whoops.conf. Uh, and then we're going to hit the return key. And it's going to go do a little search. And Commvault does indexes all the time. And see how I have a few different ones here? I know those aren't in. I know this is the one. It's in the Etsy directory. Any good Linux guy knows that. So we're going to go ahead and click here. And then what's kind of cool, see where it says restore from the default copy? Uh, now, again, this is my lab. I've got a bunch of, I've moved this around between storage policies and plans. So it, that's why this looks like this. But there's, there's, I have two copies. There's one that says primary and one that says secondary. So I'm going to be doing the restore from, from the primary. So I'll click primary. And because I switch, it's going to make me, make me do the search again. So let me just do a quick return. And what's neat is it does the, res, the, the search from the copy you pick. Because sometimes what people will do, let me go back to my diagram real quick. You'll do 30 days here. And, you know, maybe somebody says, you know, I don't have a lot of bandwidth or a lot of space over here. And they just do copies weekly or maybe just monthly over here. So when you do that search, it's searching that secondary copy, which is really neat. And if you pick the primary, it searches here. So you, it's searching from what you have. All right. Back to our GUI. So we're going to uh, restore this guy here. And this is a neat little feature here. If you want to just download it, you could click download. And it'll, come, it'll download to my, my browser. See, I can go ahead and grab it if I want to go take a look at it. That's a neat little feature. Or the other way you can do it is you can say restore, which is what most people want to do. And I'm going to put it back to CentOS 7 C2. And I'm going to restore it to the original folder. And Or you can actually change the destination path if you like. And you know what I'll do? I'm going to say restore to a, a different destination path so you can see it. And then when I click browse, this just went over to the uh, client, uh, CentOS 7 C2. And just for kicks, I'm going to throw it right in the temp directory. So I'm going to save it there. So I said put it, put it in the, right in the temp directory. And I'm going to hit submit. Okay. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and go over here. And I've got my, that's not actually the box. I have another one down here. That's CentOS 7C2 you just saw there. That's a uh, one-touch recovery I had done for some testing. And I'll be, I'll, there'll be a video for that too. <laughs> All right, let me log in. All right, just give me a second here to log in. What I'm going to do is once I, the uh, screen comes up here, I'm going to uh, head over to um, the temp directory just to show you. Okay, cd2 slash tmp. Okay, so... Let's go check our job, see how we're doing. Now you can go in here and go down to monitor. And right up here, jobs.
and there's my restore. It says it just completed. So let me head back over to my window. Oh, there it is. <laughs> now, you'll notice I did ls-ltr, and I wasn't thinking. It's not going to put today's date on it. What it's going to do is Commvault preserves the time. This is actually another good thing to remember. See how it says March 25th? That's uh, a month ago, and that's what I had picked when I was uh, doing the restore. So it, it was done appropriately. So that's that's it in a nutshell. When you go to do a restore, it's actually quite easy. You know, you just go in, you know, go under protect, go to your server, and you, it's it's very intuitive. You just go in here and pick out which server it is, and then you go pick out what set you want to restore from. So let me uh, go here. We'll bring up good old CentOS 7C2 again. And, you know, you can click something here if you want, or you can just click Restore. And it'll come in. It'll pick, you know, Restore from the uh, the latest backup. And then you can you go over here, pick your copy. Click on the tree. And you can just browse through, too. I mean, you can just click on stuff, and it'll, if you know what you're going for, and you can restore whatever you need. And then you can download it, or you can restore it. So this new GUI is very intuitive. I like it much better than the old Java GUI. So uh, go ahead and give it a try if you like. And again, uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, you know, feel free to reach out to us at uh, contact, contact at datapivottech.com. And, uh, you know, don't forget to hit that like button because that helps us out. And also uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll get more content just like this. All right. Thank you.